guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a minecart dispenser system. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Maybe you Okay, so this is the system. So basically, what this thing is, as I said in the intro, a minecart dispension system, dispenser system. You'll see what I mean when I show you how it works. Right here is meant for um, a super smelter that smells up a hundred and fifteen items here. Uh, so uh if you would want to have less you can leave the system like this that delay might be a little bit longer because of this plus extender here but if you want it to be higher then you'd need to adjust this here and extend this pulse extender though this could be a bit harder in the sense that the pulse from the here could be too short for the pulse extender to actually activate so you'd need to make a smaller pulse extender that goes into this pulse extender okay i'm gonna stop talking and let's just show you how it works in the system imagine that this would be like uh, 150 raw iron that you just dug up or i don't know maybe you want to smell some food and you can put that in so you put that in press the button the minecart goes down, drops down here, the items fall down through those hoppers, into this hopper they collect up here, and we just need to wait until all of the items come in, so let's wait. Okay, about 20 items are left, and we should see how the system starts working very soon. Ah! Here, pulse extender activated, piston goes down, no lockage of the hopper here, the items flow down. Here, pulse extender still going, the minecart went back up the track, pulse extender still holding, it will soon turn off. But fortunately, even after turning off, there's a slight delay and that's just enough for the stack and 51 items to go in yeah uh and then after that except the items piling up here you'd have these hoppers going into the so uh, super smelter system you can use a super smelter design like the one i showcased on my channel here a bit earlier though we'd need to modify it a bit so yeah i think that's it for the showcase i'm unfortunately not going to be showing you step by step how to build it but i'm going to show you and going to build it without talking so you can just pause it the video and mm -mm mimic the stuff i do if you don't want to do that and you have a mod like schematica or lightmatica like i do here i will have a schematic file in the description along with the material list for this machine here and um, so if you have those mods you just download the schematic put it into your schematics folder and then you can do something like I do here so you can load the schematic load it and it's loaded in here so I'm gonna use this schematic to build it for you guys right now
Okay, so it is done. It didn't take very long to make build, but you know, I'm in creative. You're probably doing this in survival. It might take a bit longer, but it still is a pretty simple build. Uh, it looks just quite terrifying because of the size. For the actual redstone part, it really isn't that hard. So, I'm gonna put again stack and 51 which is 115 items in here oh no Ooh, we need to wait again for the items to flow in okay everything is working here false extender on mine card came back this powered off items going into the hopper and as you can see, just barely fits in the time, but everything is working. So, as I said again, material list in the description, schematic file link to download if you have a schematica slash dogmatica mod installed. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make. And I hope that this design will help you in your super smelter in your base. So you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!